Hello guys, this is Hobo, coming to you live from Little War Game. Today we got an interesting match between Invictus and Dubna. In the top right today we have Invictus, in the bottom left we have Dubna. I have yet to see this game, I was just told that it is an epic must-see. Invictus has been doing quite a bit of practicing right now, and he's definitely getting quite a bit better. Uh, Dubna is a solid player, but he doesn't always make the, all the right decisions, and his macro could use a little bit of work. I would say Slimer is better than Vizix, personally, but it must be the playstyle of how Invictus is able to beat Slimer. So it looks like we have a standard house opening from both players, still waiting to see if any of them is a fast expo. It looks like Invictus is getting um, Castle, is my guess. Meanwhile, Dubna might be playing Beast. Both players are now up to about 300 gold. Not terribly exciting so far. It seems both players are going for the fast expand. Both have enough gold, and we are seeing the castles. About at the exact same time. Generally speaking, Dubna tends to play Beast while Invictus tends to play Rax. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, a Den coming out from Invictus. This is not normal. Meanwhile, nothing coming out from Dubna. He could definitely forward production at this point, though. Ooh, it's gonna be a Beast versus Beast. I haven't seen one of these in a long time, guys. Generally speaking, in Beast vs. Beast, it's whoever can get dragons out first has the advantage. I kinda like Dubna's placement of the castle a little bit better, it lets you get back there a little bit more easily. I think you can still squeeze through that corner. Two dens coming out from Invictus, only the one from Dubna. It seems Dubna's taking a greedy third. Don't know how I like that in Beast vs. Beast play. If he's gonna do this, he's gonna have to follow up by a tower if he wants to deal with this too then. And it seems this wolf is probably gonna cross long here, if he's sent into here. Uh, if Invictus rallied the wolf to this area, then it's gonna take a left path. And no! That wolf is probably going to see this little expansion and try to counter it. I do see Dubna's getting that tower down first before he's taking the expansion. Smart move. This is one of the things about uh, Steam Junction. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it does add an interesting mechanic. From your second base, depending where you click on their second base, their natural, it will change where their wolves will spawn. At this point, Invictus should try to get a fortress, or try to catch up in terms of either doing some damage to Dubna's economy, or get his own third castle. But with two towers coming out, it's going to be pretty hard to do. Uh, I think he pulled a little bit too many workers there. Three would have been fine, four is a bit overkill. This worker won't be able to do anything, he should be rallying it to the mine over there. Neither player has started to get Fortress yet, and we see only two bases from Invictus, with wolves everywhere not being beneficial. He could do a lot of damage if he took all of those and tried to just push into this natural, 
he would be able to stop that tower from going down, kill quite a few workers, and be able to catch up economically due to the lost workers. But the tower is going to be up and it's going to be a safe expansion for him. Uh, second Den's coming down from Dubnab Wall. Invictus is getting another castle. In terms of army size, Dubna cannot do anything right now. He needs to catch up in terms of army. So to fix that, he's building two uh, dens. He should be getting another house down, really. Uh, I would say that third den is a mistake, as he still needs more houses. Snakes from Invictus, I think taking it to Dragon would have been better. Rushing out dragons to try to do the economy damage. Since Dumna was able to get that greedy third up, Invictus has to do economy damage to make up for the lost mining time. And the only way to do that really would be some kind of drop or dragons to harass the workers and force Dumna to tech switch to dragon while he macros behind it. Killing that tower wasn't really the best move. It did cost him four wolves to zero. The gold loss is in Dubna's favor, along with the economy still. Work count, Invictus does have more workers. Invictus can't take that fight. Poor Micro from uh, Dubna is causing him to get quite a bit of damage to his wolves. He did lose one as a result, but a lot of Invictuses are rather low in health. We're seeing upgrades coming from Invictus while Dubna is starting to get dragons. Something to know about the AA4 on the 4.0 patch is some of the new units currently don't change color with team. Snakes, Raiders, Gatling Guns, Gyros, they'll all be the standard teal color. Invictus still has the economy lead due to uh, worker production. Dubna isn't making enough workers to saturate his bases which is going to sorely affect him. We can already see that because of that, Invictus has taken the lead for income despite getting his third decent bit afterwards. Invictus is going in to try to scout. He's trying to get a wolf up there to see if dragons are on their way. A fourth castle coming from Invictus up top. Not a lot of things to counter the dragons, no towers even. So it seems Dubna's going to be able to get a decent bit of damage done in that regard. Uh, both players are almost supply blocked right now, Invictus is supply blocked. Uh, it looks like he's going for Ballista instead of dragons. Something I would personally do myself. What he could consider doing at this point is split his army and try to deal some damage over here while distracting the army. Uh, this wolf over here is very good at scouting to make sure Dubna is not getting a fourth base. The fact that um, Invictus has this fourth base, despite it being scouted and attacked, means he's going to have yet further income advantage, especially as the main lines get low. Both players are getting upgrades now, with um, three testing labs coming from Invictus, don't know how I feel about that, two coming from uh, Dubna. We got five dens and werewolves on the way. Werewolves are a good tech switch, but right now he needs to be doing something with his dragon lair. It's a waste of 300 gold to have this right now if he's not doing anything with it. He needs to try to get eco damage done. <clears throat> Again, still only three castles for Dubna. Uh, we do see a dragon finally coming out, but 
supply block, so it's not able to actually start producing. Just wasted gold sitting there at this point. Uh, two towers coming out from Invictus. Invictus has some nice scouting going on, stopping any kind of fourth base from being made. Uh, this is going to be neatly scouted. A uh, tower coming down. Just getting ready for the castle. He's pulling way too much army for this. He only needed to send one wolf at max and have the worker aid it. Uh, he needs to pull this part up ASAP. He should have pulled that up and tried to sandwich those wolves. Getting a surround with snakes like that would have done so much damage. The worker is going to go down. And same with these guys. And Invictus will be able to run away after this. He doesn't have to fight this army. He can still run. Still run with minimum losses. And he's choosing to take the engagement. He needs to send wolves around to eat those snakes. Uh, for upgrades, there no one has the advantage at current. Seeing that uh, Dubnut does now have dragons, he's going to be getting all of the get uh, blistas. His army is being chased across the map at current, having lost quite a bit more. But once again, we can see with the income that Invictus can afford to lose more units and such. Werewolves coming from both players now, with Dubna being able to get a werewolf done first. Still no fourth castle. There we go. Fourth castle coming from Dubna. Uh, right now, Invictus should be thinking about getting a fifth as his gold mine's getting down to about 20%. One turret. Also, he needs to start sending Ballista to each of his little bases. Something I like to do is have the Ballista go in the middle of the worker line, select about 8 workers and just auto select the uh, repair function. It makes the uh, Ballista's quite hard to kill. Simple spell but quite unbreakable. What happened there? So Invictus is choosing to kill his units to create more room to build units. Okay then. Two uh, airships coming down from it. I think it would be better to get Ballista. I see what he did here. He's getting these guys ready in case Dubna sends dragons up top. Still three upgrades pumping out for Invictus. Only one of his, Dubna's upgrade centers are actually being used. Still no faith, fifth from Dubna. Invictus is floating. Uh, it's about 700. Right now, Invictus should be getting a sixth castle with his extra gold and then some more production. But choosing to push like he is is a good move. Despite there being the two werewolves. Wasted gold on the upgraded tower. He needs to micro the snakes better. I don't know why Dumna retreated from that battle. I suppose... Yeah, it was a good move. I see. I didn't notice this up top. Uh, so Invictus has now lost his fourth castle. But he's able to make up for it by keeping his fifth up top. He's still doing some damage down here by having a werewolf and some other guys stay. Uh, overall, it's not going to be a huge hit to Invictus due to him still having this castle up here and having 600 gold in the bank. We're going to see very shortly a large upgrade advantage from Invictus if Dubna is not able to start catching up. He's got two uh, research or animal testing labs not doing anything at current. He needs to start rebuilding some of his workers. To, uh, he actually has plenty of workers. They're all on these bases. Can he can send like three of those guys, if not more, four of those guys to this castle? He can probably think about taking this castle too and have his army sit around this area with a blister or two. These guys are going to check here to see if they can get that castle. Dubna is starting to expand a little bit more. 
It's gonna be a free worker kill for Dubna if Invictus can't get out. Two more Ballista coming from Invictus. And now Dubna has the lead for bases. And he's starting to catch up for upgrades due to um, Invictus not actually upgrading with them. It's 3-2 th to 3-1 in favor of Invictus. Uh, sixth castle coming out from Dubna. Dubna now has more castles. These two dragons won't be able to do much. And these wolves here are gonna die. Uh, between these two armies, I would say Invictus's would be the stronger of the two, especially because he has the slight upgrade advantage. He does need to spare some guys to go kill this worker though. And this is gonna be deadly, taking out part of the army only. There are reinforcements on the way, but the Ballista should be able to help. He just needs to kill that worker before the tower's done, and the tower will be able to get up, making it a deadly exchange. Invictus is definitely right to run there. But he does need to start pressing and attacking. These werewolves can very easily get killed if uh, Dubna isn't careful, though, from stutter stepping. But it does look like Dubna is going to try to press upwards and take the advantage. Both players are now floating a thousand golds. Very not good. Dubna should right now be taking this mine, getting more production and attacking. Meanwhile, Invictus should already have this mine, should be just trying to take this mine and, again, attacking. Both players have the uh, production to be able to go at it and rebuild their armies quite easily. This low force from Invictus will die, if not aided. He needs to take the fight to him. Four towers coming up from Invictus. Wow. Slowly Dubna is starting to catch up in terms of economy. Dubna's floating a horrendous amount of gold, which could be in, ooh, two free ballista kills. That's not very good for Invictus. He also has idle units up top that could really be helping right now. Now you can see Dubna is also taking another base, and he just keeps winning these exchanges. 4-3 uh, to 4-2 for upgrades, only slightly in Invictus's favor. Poor Micro on this, his part, he's losing two werewolves for free at this point. Uh, both players have now lost all their werewolves, this, uh, no, Dubna still has one down there. Right now, Invictus needs to split his army a little bit. Maybe send some werewolves down here just to start doing some damage to this expansion. He can't let uh, Dubna just keep this massive army and this massive eco lead. Dubna's now on to 2,000 gold. He should think about tech switching. Meanwhile, Invictus, with his max out pop, is also starting to tech switch. But he's definitely going to fall behind in economy if he doesn't do something quick. The gap is only 2,000, but uh, Dubna did lose 2,000 more than him. And right now Dubna is holding on to 2,000, which we might see something deadly come about. It seems Dubna's taking this nice base here, and he's going to press up. He will be able to kill that... Uh, fifth base from Invictus rather easily while um, 
Invictus does try to do some damage taking out this base here. But Dubna did not choose to immediately attack, that's going to cost him. He's instead going to try to go backwards and defend this base. Invictus should focus on killing that castle. Those werewolves are going to be intercepted. But this base will be able to go down. With priests being exposed. Ooh. So with this going on here, <coughs> that means Invictus should be trying to counterattack at this point. And he is going to take quite a bit of economy damage here though. Yes, he's going to be able to kill Invictus' army, but this just very large eco damage here. You can see the difference already in uh, gold per minute. Invictus' army is now fully dead, which isn't terrible for him. He does need to split up some of these workers a little bit better though and try to take one of these bases, if not both. Invisibility coming from him. Upgrades, he's about to finish getting 5-5. Although um, Dubna's not too far behind. Invictus is at 110, popped to 140. Wonder what this worker is doing. Another worker just sent, probably trying to take that castle, just being unable to. Two layers up front, good idea. Those units will die, but reinforcements are able to come. Two werewolves over here is forcing his army over. Why he's sending all those workers to their deaths is a good question. Seven workers, free kills. <clears throat> if Invictus can't do something quickly, uh, Dubna's just going to win the War of Attrition. Dubna currently is not building anything or even production. Meanwhile, Invictus is flushing out his army. Healing Ward, very good on this part. This little force is going to die, but Dubna is pushing in to try to deal macro damage to Dubna, just hitting the wrong parts. He should be focusing on killing that castle. If he wants to do the most damage, he has to kill that castle, since this base is going to be killed for him. And instead, he's focusing on trying to kill the towers. Not the best idea. But he's going to be able to kill both regardless. And this entire base is going to die. Invictus will be able to defend this. Not easily, but he will be able to defend it. Both players are at only at about 100 for their army size. Dubna's almost rebuilt that castle. He's starting to get gold from this mine once again. It's got way too many workers over here. This does give him a decent economy lead for now. Uh, it's not going to be enough to win in the game though. He needs to continue to press his advantage if he wants that. He could try to attack this base, really. Get some decent damage there. Seems Invectus is trying to keep up the pressure on this right flank. Which isn't a bad idea. Ooh. With no towers here, these workers are mincemeat. This is terrible for, um... Invictus. So many workers dying from the splash damage. So many workers dead. And 
Dubna's Dubna's gonna try the same thing up top. Unless Invictus can take one of these two side mines, he's just gonna die from attrition. Smart move stopping those workers from being able to just get splash killed. These three werewolves just getting ready to attack. Not quite gonna go yet. Eight werewolves. That's gonna be seven werewolves rather. That's gonna be quite deadly when it actually goes to attack them. Only sending one by mistake. He needs to wrap one of these around manually to attack this tower. <coughs> the space will go down. No ballista here, which is unfortunate. But airships to the rescue. They should be able to help. He needs to take some of these werewolves and focus on killing that castle. Dragon's just getting melted at this point. Four Ballista. Any dragon force just has to run away. Right now Invictus should come over here, make like five towers and a castle of his own and try to secure that base while he presses to maybe poke at one of these ones. Which it seems like he's gonna do. While attacking in this space, very smart on his end. Spreading out his army like this to deal the damage. He has a 30 pop advantage at this point. And he's gonna be able to split, attack this small force from Dub and not be able to kill it easily. While well, this castle does die. <clears throat> he needs to focus fire that castle. Yep, this army is just getting melted for Dubna. That castle will be killed. Again, he needs to just focus fire this castle. And he finally realizes that's the smartest way to go about it. And he's going to be able to start dealing some excellent damage. Those werewolves will die, especially since Dubna has two werewolves back here he's not doing anything with, but the damage will be done. Invictus is finally going to get this castle over here. Plenty of priests over here, just killing whatever resistance force is left here. Uh, he could have just sent like a wolf to go finish off that castle, it's fine though. But serious damage versus Dubna after that. Killing three of the castles that uh, Dubna was mining from. Dubna only has two gold mine he's mining from left. Versus what was three for Invictus. Dubna's gonna try to do some counter damage by killing this castle, most likely. Meanwhile, Invictus is gonna just curb stomp this castle. This would be a mistake for Dubna to try to engage this force, especially with the four priests. But these priests will be able to get surrounded by the werewolves and get free kills on these priests. This is very bad for Invictus. Four priests, full mana. Dead like that. This castle is going to get a decent bit of damage done to it as well. Invictus is taking the right flank castle as well, and he's pushing into Dubna's base. Uh, with 125 pop to only 85, the game definitely seems to be in Invictus's favor. His army is getting surrounded though. He's going to lose all of those. Free dragon kill. Barely gets on the runway.
This mine is now out of gold. Invictus is currently only mining from one base, now two, almost three. He needs to reinforce this position ASAP. He has the army to do it, but they're just on the wrong side of the map. This castle will go down without a fight. Instead of trying to defend at this point, Invictus should be trying to push to kill this castle. Would be the smarter move. Especially since this base is now useless. Making that Werewolf invisible was a great idea. It boosts the damage slightly as well as, again, makes him invisible. Impossible to attack. This base will die. Although uh, Dubna's army will also die. Tower is coming up from Invictus. These priests should not engage alone. And they're able to get reinforcements in time. This werewolf is just going to town. In the meantime, four werewolves going after this the castle. They should again just focus fire at the castle, stop the income immediately. Instead of killing workers, or towers even. These units are gonna die easily. And another dragon goes down. Uh, with 114 to 60 population, it seems that this game is just about over with Invictus as the winner. Very long game, 30 minutes. Hard fought by both players. A very impressive comeback from Invictus. Despite being down on bases, despite being down on economy, he was able to effectively split up his forces and basically change the tables to be in his favor. Very well done on his part. These guys are just waiting to go in and kill those workers. Then Dubna won't have anything left. Only 47 pop. Uh, the loss of his workers over here some over here and that's going to be game most likely another free dragon kill and GG is called well played guys very well played uh, <clears throat> I think that game was excellent at showing that in the late game, even if you're super far behind, you're still able to make a comeback. And that was definitely an exciting Beast vs. Beast we haven't seen for quite a while. Uh, well played from both players. If you guys liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more stuff like this, or if you have preferences to see other material. See you later, guys!